Hey folks, Cliff Dweller and Catfish here, Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions. We are in the nation's most visited national park. The Smoky Mountains. We're on the Appalachian Trail, doing the hike from Newfound Gap out to Charlie's Bunyan. It's about an eight mile round trip. Charlie's Bunyan is one of the park's most popular hikes and most unusual name. The name dates back to 1929. A wildfire had ravaged the mountaintops and then a rain deluge washed away all the soil, exposing the underlying rock. A hiking party that included Charlie Connor and Horace Kephart were resting on the exposed rock, where Charlie had taken his boots and socks off, exposing a bunion. Kephart remarked that Charlie's bunion looked like the rock they were sitting on, and the name stuck. However, what most people don't know is that the rock outcrop labeled Charlie's Bunyan by the park isn't the same rock that the hiking party had been on. It was the neighboring exposed rock that is not right on the Appalachian Trail. Now, if we're lucky, we'll get to see the tourist Charlie's Bunyan, and we're hoping to find the historic Charlie's Bunyan. They are not one and the same. Well, that's pretty awesome, huh, buddy? Yeah. What do you think of that catfish? Pretty cool. I'm surprised it hasn't ran from us yet. Yeah. So here on the AT heading out towards Charlie's Bunyan, found all this tore up ground that is evidence of wild boars. There are definitely some wild boars within the park. And uh, when they start rooting in the ground, this is exactly what they do. It's almost like somebody come up here and tilled the ground. Do you feel like you're like in red, little Red Riding Hood's woods when the wolf approaches? Mm. Kind of is like that, isn't it? Mm. But without the predators. Mm. If this is Little Red Riding Hood's words, this must be Grandmother's house. <laughs> Indeed. Look, they've even got a toilet area. Yeah, this place, they get, tend to get busy. This is the ice spring shelter. So if you reserve through the park to camp a night at the ice spring shelter, or you're an AT through hiker, all right, here's your beds. Pull up a spot, throw up your uh, sleeping bag, and that's where you sleep right there. Yep. So here's the little spring for which Ice Spring Shelter is named. Grab your filter and refill your water. What's it say? Charles Bunyan, closely controlled children. <laughs> it's one of the most famous signs in the Smokies. The catfish has informed me that he's no child and he can't be controlled. <laughs> All right, buddy. pretty busy. We're going to go around and head up to the top. I know we can't. I've done it. Okay. So 
It's probably about 10.30 a.m. And as you see, it's a very, very popular spot. So we're going to head around while it's so crowded and see if we can go up to the top. them views yeah <laughs> so we'll let them have Charlie's Bunyan yeah. and we'll have a seat up here on the rock above Charlie's Bunyan yeah. what do you think buddy mm -hmm. got any thoughts about this place oh, it looks cool as long as the wind doesn't make you fall down <laughs> So the information I have as far as the historic Char uh, Charlie's Bunyan was basically it's only a quarter mile past where the uh, tourist Bunyan is at and there's a trail to the left that leads out to it. Now, the only thing we have seen and we've hiked well over a quarter of a mile was that little bitty almost looked like a animal trail type thing up that one hill that was very steep and very overgrown and uh, we weren't going to go up it to investigate with it being that overgrown this time of year. But that would have led to this ridge here, which definitely has a ton of exposed rock, which could be the original historic Charlie's Bunyan. So this is the only thing that we have found that appears to could be a path leading off to the left, close to a quarter of a mile from the tourist Charlie's Bunyan is definitely overgrown but it looks like it would lead up to the top and possibly out to the historic Bunyan but for me and Catfish together I think we are going to have to wait yeah. until uh, it's not so overgrown like late fall or extremely early spring or something would be a perfect time to go exploring that. We have to leave something to find and more reasons to come back, right? Yeah. Can't see it all, all at once. But I can sure appreciate what is here. Is this a good adventure? Yeah. Yep. It's one of the coolest views in Smokies, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. 